Russia is one of the strongest nations in the Middle East. It has quite good population, has all types of resources, and it already starts with professional army. In this video, I will try to conquer Middle East as Persia. Persia already starts as one of the strongest nations in the region. Still, we have a lot to do. Let's start improving relations with Russia and I think Great Britain. I'm also going to issue some decrees. I think social mobility or education. Let's also tax our people, specifically rich people, not poor ones. Everything luxury, okay, and that's it. Now let's start researching mechanical tools, build construction sector in Tabriz. Let's increase taxes a little bit, just a little bit on high. And let's check out our laws. I know that Persia is already quite progressive for Middle East, so not sure if I can do anything. Let's see. Yeah, not really, not really. Anyway then, but now I will prioritize export for grain and let's change production method of our farms to citrus orchards. Now grain will become expensive and we will get corn loss. Yes, here they are. Let's fix our grain situation and let's declare interest in Arabia. Let's also check out Oman, who likes them, who doesn't. Oh no. Ottomans will protect Oman. Well then, let's then wait before declaring. Also, let's build one more construction sectors and change them to iron frame buildings. And here it is, that's why I introduced corn loss. Basically, this journal entry lets us weaken the landowners and make our country more capitalist. Let's choose this option and new character appears in Persia. So let's invite our agitator to our government. Okay, now landowners are liberal. Let's pass laissez-faire. And let's end corn loss. They're not necessary anymore. End of the corn loss. Okay, now that I am in deficit from our construction sectors, let's put some iron mines and logging camps. And of course, tooling workshops. In 1.5, there is such thing as local price, so I'm going to build all of them in one state. Okay, let's say fire is already in consideration, please. Soon it will be accepted. Right now, my goal is to make construction goods cheaper. Let's build another iron mine, tooling workshop, another agitator, maybe let's exile him. I don't like him. These agitators, you are going away. And we now have laissez faire. Liberal Persia in 1837. Okay, I think that should be enough to grow our economy. Although I also need to abolish slavery. It would be quite difficult. I need more iron. Poor Hewa is getting annexed. Let's check out. Well, I hope I'm not next target of Russia. Okay, I think that's already too much of constructing sectors. Let's reduce their quantity. Okay, we are in profit. Let's slowly increase the amount of constructing sectors. Let's not rush. Time to increase our GDP. Let's change some production methods. Okay, let's see what do we need. We need more wood. Also, by the way, I'm not the smartest. I should have researched atmospheric engine. Let's do it right now. We won't lose any progress. Then I think I'll start researching military stuff. Okay, now Ottoman should help Oman. Well, at least I hope so. So let's conquer Omani Kerm. Let's mobilize. And let's go. And yes, they changed how army works in the update. It seems no one is going to support Oman. And I need to continue building. I shouldn't stop. Let's build even more iron. Okay, Atomos didn't support Oman, now we can easily conquer the state. Okay, maybe not easily, but eventually they will give up. Eventually. I have more men. Time for more construction sectors, let's build two of them. Cannon fodder always wins battles. Okay, almost captured the state. In the real game it would have been easier. Anyway, the state is almost captured. Here we go. Yes, it is. Now we just wait for capitulation. GMLI, let's say. I think let's use harvesting tools on grain, just because I don't have enough of food and I don't want anyone to get angry. Also against joining Russian Customs Union, but not sure if it's necessary. Maybe let's just buy some grain. Oh, I can't. Unfortunately. And here we go, Kerman is ours. Also, I have some problems with bureaucracy. I think let's change some production method of government administrations in each of them. Here, maybe also here. Okay, and now paper should be expensive, we should build some paper factories. Also, I will start damaging relations with Ottomans. We have some surplus of papers, so I think let's improve all of our bureaucracy. Yeah, it's good enough. And here we go, now our shortage of iron should be a little bit less. Although now I need to build coal. And now let's research something military, like Napoleonic warfare. Oh, by the way, maybe I would finally be able to feed my people. Right now I'm wondering how revolution still hasn't started. Plus 50% surprise on grain. Also, by the way, I can make iron tools, maybe let's try this. Although for this I would need some steel. Although I actually remember that... Although I actually remember that we don't need steel mills, we need iron, we need more iron for this to work. So let's build more iron, I guess. Yeah, infrastructure is not good. I need some railways. Okay, we can make our army a little bit less backwards. Let's check out our new system. Also, line infantry needs smaller arms, and for this I need to build some factories, maybe. Let's check out our barracks. Here we are, general training. Okay, let's change our production method. And let's build some army factories. Also, by the way, let's damage relations with Afghanistan. I would like to conquer it. Or make it my puppet. Well, not puppet, but protectorate. 
You can't make puppets anymore, at least not right away. Anyway, now we have some arms manufacturers. Let's change our infantry to line infantry. Upgrades have started. Interesting. Well, I wanted to ban slavery anyway, but it might be not easy because of this. I don't want any revolution, but I'll see what I can do. Maybe let's even explode diplomats, better to do it right now than wait. And I would like to recruit some cannon artillery, maybe here in Tabriz. Let's build plenty of it. And for this I would also need to build one more factory with this artillery foundry. Okay, Napoleonic warfare is researched, now I think I need some railways. Or maybe, maybe, maybe stock exchange. Okay, let's research stock exchange. Well, to be honest, I'm not even sure what can I do. Well, like my only targets are Afghanistan and Pakistan. I would like to declare on Ottomans, of course, but for this I need support of Russia. I need more cannon fodder. It seems we need more construction sectors. I have too much money. I can't afford this. Also, by the way, I removed our Shia leader with the event, and it seems that they no longer demand abolition of slavery. Well, I would do it anyway, but right now not a best idea. And here we go, stock exchange. I researched it for this. Market access price impact. This would make local prices less important. Well, at least I think so. Anyway, railways are already spending to me, maybe let's, maybe let's research general stuff, why not? And I need to start building some steel factories, I want to make steel tools. I will gradually increase amount of steel tools. Now let's upgrade our cannons to something more modern. Here we are, upgrading. And I think let's declare Baluchistan, just because I have nothing to do. And it should be fun. Mobilize, and let's go. Also, it will stress test our army. And by the way, I think they added experience here, so it will also train them. Let's even check it out. Line infantry. Let's yes, veteran sea level. So let's train our troops. Yes, I'm just destroying Baluchistan. Mountains won't save you. Well, this was even easier than I thought. And Baluchistan is ours. Maybe let's also conquer Makran. Let's check out. Yeah, no one is going to support them, most likely. Russia might, of course, but I'm not sure. It also likes us, so we'll see. Interesting why I can't I conquer state. I need to decrease our relations. Unfortunate. I could conquer Afghanistan, but I want to make them our protectorate. Not outright conquer them. Okay, I think maybe let's force recognition on Great Britain. It won't be able to do anything to us. It's too far away. Well, not on Great Britain, maybe on Austria or in France. Well, unfortunate, but for this to work, I need to become major power. Also, I research railways, but for some reason I'm not building them. And I should. Especially in Tabriz. And I need to build some trains. Motor industries. Also, of course, I forgot to incorporate. Let's incorporate Bolchistan. And we can even try to change the theocracy. Theocratic Pasha. Yes, why not? Let's try. Let's quickly conquer Makran. Should be no resistance. Already have skirmish infantry, but I need to research ammunition. Percussion cap. We actually build it. I guess my interest is too high. Let's temporarily raise taxes. Just so it doesn't go bankrupt. Maybe let's also introduce some additional taxes. Yeah, it was quite easy. I just want to beat up Ottomans. And we can finally form a defensive pact with Russia. Let's do it. Now I hope to ally them. By the way, maybe we should enact per capita taxation instead of theocracy. It's of course cool to roleplay Zayatala, but taxation is even cooler. Let's establish company, by the way. Interesting to see what it does. Maybe let's lower military wages for now, just so I stay in positive until I get new taxation. I've got some money, let's once again raise military wages, and I want to prepare to declare on Afghanistan. I hope Russia will understand. For now, let's just recruit another general to increase organization of our units. Let's check out Afghanistan. Yeah, Russia might actually interfere. Well, I hope it won't. Okay, let's conquer state. Russia wishes trade agreement. Of course, I agree. Let's also conquer eastern Afghanistan. I doubt they even have artillery. Well, they might, of course, but I doubt. Great Britain damaging relations. Why? One second, I need to... Oh no, not France. Yeah, I hate when great powers are doing this. Well, I doubt it will save Afghanistan just because France can't even help it. It can only never invade. Yes, I'm afraid Afghanistan doesn't stand a chance. Not even sure why British had some troubles. Literally, I push over. And finally, per capita taxation. We are rich. Well, first I will try to pay off my interest, and only then I will build more construction sectors. And here it is, France is trying to naval invade, but Afghanistan already capitulated. Can I just make white peace? No? Okay. Really? Seriously? Oh my god. Okay, let's add war operations. Maybe liberate crucial states. I will ask Russia to support us. I think it will support us anyway. Call a lie. Here we go. Now I can build munition factories, and I should upgrade my army. Now let's quickly research dynamite. I will have to import some explosives for munitions, but that's not a big deal. I am become death, the graveyard of Australia. Also, I forgot to lower our taxes, let's do it right now. And let's also build some fertilizer plants for food and for explosives. And I'm not sure why France won't surrender, because like, it won't achieve anything. Also, I want to build more construction sectors and some barracks. Let's create a new army. Create army, it would be, I think, more offensive army. So let's create some cannons, maybe even some lancers. 
Yeah, it will take a lot of time, so I will take a break between putting barracks. And Russia pissed out, let's also propose a white peace. I need to deal with French, I can't afford to have two front war. Let's also incorporate Afghanistan, I forgot. And finally we can white peace. We accept. I think for this we should have at least been recognized. We've basically defended from not one, but two great powers. Let's also change to advanced tactics trainings. And I really need big army. Time to feed our people. Let's see the price of grain now. Oh, by the way, I also need to lead. I forgot. Okay, I will build some mines, but where is grain? Yeah. Radicals will go away. Let's put some lead. Let's see our jump in GDP. Well, actually not that big. I expect better. Now we have explosives, let's try producing. Interesting. Yeah, it seems they moved explosives to different factory. Okay, then let's not build fertilizer and build some explosives. Okay, I sorted out our explosive issues. And now that all of my mines have dynamite, I need to sort out ammunition factories. I think I need to upgrade our infantry for them to produce anything. Let's upgrade to skirmish infantry. I need more construction sectors, so let's build maybe even three more. I have a lot of things to build, but I don't have time. I already wanted to declare on Ottomans, but with our army that would be not a great idea. People want to ban slavery, and maybe I should try. I just hope there won't be any revolution. There is, and I don't care. Civil war means civil war. Okay, we have some problems. Revolution did start. Well, Russia would support me. Hope some riot police will come in. It seems my army is even better than Russian. They still have flying infantry. With the help of Russia, we successfully dealt with revolt. But of course our GDP suffered. Anyway, we will rebuild, but at least right now, the land owners are very weak. And we finished religion, autocracy and nationality. Let's do the third option, I want to become theocracy. Fortunately, I have to raise taxes. Civil war left me without money. Also, Chin is in Russian customs union, no, what the hell. Anyway, anyway, at least we have one more million of free population. It seems the great powers are busy, so let's finish the conquest of Persian land. We have some new military, I think we should try it out. Let's here. And I'm not sure why is there one more army, but I guess okay. Maybe that's because of revolt? Yep, they don't stand a chance. People want us to enact cultural exclusion. Maybe a start. It would be good actually. And by the way, we are a major power now. Unrecognized major power, nonetheless a major power. The Koreans are arriving, but that won't help them. Now Koreans are running away. Okay, let's conquer Pashtunistan. And finally, Persia is united. Let's incorporate. Let's build even more artillery. And I will try to go on Ottomans. And finally, we are unlocked TNT. Our economy should just go into space when I do this. And let's produce more explosives. And I need to build more paper. Let's improve production method. Now I want to research better artillery ASAP. Oh, and by the way, I forgot. If I'm major power, I can set more interest. Let's set interest in Anatolia. I will also build a little bit more of construction sectors. And let's lower our taxes. We have enough of money, can afford this. And we passed cultural exclusion. Not much culturalism, but also quite good. Let's see what else can we pass. We can try to pass theocracy. Well, let's try. And I can't pass theocracy because landowners are unhappy. Unfortunate. Well, at least we put capitalists in charge. Let's see. Let's enact no migration controls. I will build more artillery, so it's at least 50-50 to infantry. Okay, let's build in Afghanistan, why not? As far as I know, there are no penalties for too much of artillery. At least right now. In battle. I'm sure they will fix it, but right now we can even make whole army artillery. Once you can trace taxes, unfortunate, but I don't want to become bankrupt. For some reason, my construction goods are extremely expensive. Revolution? Well, I guess uh, that's because our government is not really legitimate. The landowners are no more, but no one has filled their niche, let's say. No migration controls and no civil war. Hope my population will grow now. Also, I can even try becoming democracy. Hope without revolution this time. Also, by the way, clergy has taken over the country. I think it's time to become theocracy. Well, not right now. Or maybe right now. No need for democracy without theocracy. Realistic event, but anyway, I'm going to choose the second option, unfortunately. And revolution, seriously, okay. Let's maybe enact charity hospitals. Let's also create pure artillery army for offense. Just to test out how it works. Also, Ottomans are in British market and are a little Great Britain. Not even sure what to do with this. Let's try to find British rivals. What's your hungry? Let's try improving. I can't. Maybe a defensive pact? I also can't. And charity hospitals. Anyway, I am finishing the research of new cannons and to declare, I think. Here we go. Soon I will declare. Now let's research maybe machine gun. By the way, I haven't noticed this mobilization tab. Let's grant first aid to our armies. Also, by the way, I can invite Saudis to our custom union. Cursed, but why not? I'm just waiting for Great Britain to do something stupid. To attack China, for example, or whatever. So I can easily win. 
England won't be able to defend Ottomans if it also has to deal with China. Let's conquer Mosul, conquer their Azor, and I need to sway Russia. Oh, I can even sway with obligation. Oh, no, I can't. Anyway, with 3D port, here let's mobilize. My first goal is to beat up India. I occupied British Punjab, and by doing this, I ensured that most likely they won't be a threat anymore. Okay, it's going even too good. Although Russia is losing, but I don't care about Russia. How is China? How is their war? It seems they're not even participating. Iran Iraq war, but this time it's fun. Austria Hungary capitulated. Anyway, I can also declare on Jabal Shamara, just because well, it's not really a competition even. And I need to start incorporating my land. And I think it's time to become a democracy. I hope at least this way I would be able to become a theocracy. Because Iran without theocracy is, I don't know, it's just weird. Well, actually, my goal is to take Lebanon, Palestine, and Yemen. That's why I'm sneaking. Also, by the way, maybe let's pass democracy and make this one our ruler. Although, maybe. No, okay, I will pass democracy. Reminds me of you four sieges. Maybe it's even worse, to be honest. Machine guns are here, and democracy is here. Let's research trench works. And let's... Where is our irritator? Yes, here it is. But let's make him our ruler. And let's enact... I can't enact theocracy, seriously? So, agrarian party was elected. Let's see. Oh, we can do this. Let's do it. I will just ignore the results of election. And we embrace colonialism. Not like I need it, but... Well, my people wanted it for some reason. Anyway. How to appoint secret police? Well, I can't right now. Mm. Okay. Let's maybe change to free trade then. Or maybe no. Maybe not. Okay, there is no reason to do this. Absolutely no reason, but I want to. Let's conquer Palestine. And let's also add some more goals. Lebanon, Syria, transfer hedges, and Transjordan. Now let's wait and see. I doubt anyone will support Egypt, but it might be possible. Well, I can't even beat Egyptians, like, look at this. Literally nothing they can do, they will lose most of their urban centers. Local numbers 3 to 1, but I'm still winning. Oh, the Egypt was stubborn, it did capitulate. Let's also finish conquering Iraq. I had to make some border core, but I will fix it. Let's also add force recognition. Great Britain couldn't get to India in time. And now we can defend from Ottomans here. And Ottomans capitulated. Great Britain soon will too. It only can do naval invasions. Surprise how easy it was to become recognized. Anyway, now we should be major power. Or maybe even great power. No, just major. And let's make protectorates in Yemen. Well, it seems Kazimits have backed down. Now it's our protectorate. And I think you can go to war with protectorates. So I won't be able to station my troops here. Well, anyway, Kazimits formed Yemen, so I think that counts. Thank you for watching, hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.